our gathering for prayer this morning reminds us of the importance of the three fundamental institutions established by God. These are family, government, and the church. These institutions, when working in harmony, have the power to transform communities and uplift the lives of the people. The family and the church are strongly interconnected, as shown in the book of Genesis, where God used to visit the family of Adam and Eve for fellowship. The family was to produce dominion for God in all spheres of life. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, and I quote, and God said, let us make man in our image after our, like, our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that crept upon the earth. The family, as the fundamental unit of society, plays a vital role in shaping the future of our nation. We must work tirelessly to strengthen families, protect our youth and children, and instill them the respect and love for God and man, as well as values of integrity, hard work, and compassion. With responsible youth and strong families, nations thrive socially and economically. I commend the efforts of Her Excellency, my sister, Pastor Dorcas Rigadi, who has been at the forefront of addressing the challenges facing our young men in combating alcoholism and drug abuse. Your dedication and commitment inspires us to fight for the youth of our nation. We cannot overlook the significant role of the church in nation building. The church has been and is a beacon of hope in providing spiritual guidance and leadership as well as a force for good in our society by running schools, hospitals, and various community programs. It is with great honor that I join you today at the Nyeri County Prayer Breakfast, a tradition that had endured for a decade. Thanks to the dedication and commitment of the Nyeri Ecumenical Council of Bishops and the county government of Nyeri. I bring you warm greetings from His Excellency, President Dr. William Ruto, who acknowledges and commends the steadfastness of this gathering over the years, setting an example worth emulating through our great nation. His Excellency passes his regards. As we gather in this beautiful county that hosts part of the majestic Mount Kenya and the beautiful Abadea Ranges, we are reminded of the splendor of God's creation. The beauty of unity seen in this fellowship is best described in Psalms 133 verses one, and I quote, how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, and down upon the collar of his robes. It is as if the dew of Hammon were falling on Mount Zion." End of quote. Excellencies, clergy, ladies and gentlemen, this 10th anniversary of the Nyeri County Prayer Breakfast is significant because 10 is the number of completeness, divine order, and perfection of God's will. We thank God for how far he has brought you and know that he will take you even further for many more decades to come, should our Lord tarry. Today, we come together from different sectors, leaders from government, church, business, and the community, all with a shared purpose of seeking God's guidance and blessings for Nyeri County and our nation. This next season, in God for the County, will see the kingdom of God established amongst his people as described in your theme verse, Hosea chapter two, verses 23, and I quote, I will plant her for myself in the land. I will show my love to the one I called not my loved one. I will say to those called not my people, you are people, and they will say, you are my God. Indeed, it is your season of enhanced settlement and divine establishment. <laughs> 